Do you know what war is? Maybe you've heard stories about it from your grandparents. Maybe your teacher has mentioned war in class. Even if you haven't heard about war from a grown-up, you have probably seen war on the television. Almost 70 years ago, Japan made a promise never to go to war again. So you have never been involved in a war. But by changing the way a country works and the decision it has made in the past, even a country that has promised never to go to war can become a country that is able to go to war. During that time, some of the following things might happen. The self-defense forces, which were only meant for the defense of Japan, will go with guns to other countries. They'll say that they're going to save people hurting from war so that they can keep peace in the world. They'll also say that when it seems like they'll be attacked, they'll attack first. A rule will be made that says everything about war will be decided by only a small group of people in the government. They'll say to other people, we've decided to go to war. And if there isn't enough time to say even that, they'll tell us about it afterwards. When the government decides that we will go to war or that we might go to war, the newspapers and televisions and radio will report it exactly as the government says. It will also be decided that they'll never say anything that the government doesn't like. It will be normal for everyone to participate in war drills. If you feel that something isn't right, you won't be able to ask, why are we doing this? Because you won't feel like asking. The schools will start teaching what good citizens must and must not do. They'll also teach what countries and what people are the enemy. Cameras will be placed in the cities to find the people that aren't good citizens. We'll start watching each other suspiciously to make sure that everyone around us is a good citizen. If we think that someone isn't being a good citizen, we'll tell the police. The police will arrest people that they think aren't being good citizens. It will be decided that whenever a war happens or is about to happen, the army will be able to use stores, other people's property, and even your house, however they please. It will also be decided that many people will help the army do their work. People like airplane pilots, doctors, nurses, truck drivers, gas station attendants, and construction workers. War will cost a lot of money. So the government will do its best to earn more money by raising our taxes, lowering the amount they give us to help us live, and even borrowing money from us. When other friendly countries go to war, the government will even give them money. Japan's constitution promises not to go to war. The constitution was created by us, and it is the most basic law that decides what the government should and should not do. People that want to go to war don't like the constitution. So, they will change the constitution to say, Japan can join in on a war. That's how Japan can become a country that can go to war. When the government decides to go to war, you will be able to lay down your life for the country. When the government says that this is for the good of the world, you will be able to lay down your life for the good of the world. You will be able to kill people in war. You don't have to be sad when your father or mother, school friends or teachers or your next door neighbors die in war. The government will be proud of them because they did a good thing for the country and for the world.
everything you have been taught about the importance of every human life up to now will turn out to be wrong. The most important thing will be the country. If you don't like what you have just heard, we would like you to do something. If you notice any of these things happening right now, tell a grown-up. This isn't good. We have to do something about this. Because grown-ups are often very busy and don't notice things like this. We can choose our own future. We can also choose not to go to war.